Hey, what is up, YouTubers? It's Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows. If you are not subscribed yet, smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And in this video, I'm going to be covering an affiliate marketing spying tutorial uh, using one of my favorite ad spy tools called AdSpy. So in my affiliate marketing with Cody Facebook group, uh, my brand new Facebook group where I make it a point to say no spamming allowed, um, in this new group, I post a question saying, what type of videos do you guys want me to make to help you along your affiliate marketing journey? And someone replied with um, doing a Facebook ad spy tutorial on affiliate marketing. So I figured I would do a more in-depth video on ad spy because if you recall from the previous video that I made, um, showing how I got to 1k in a week with Facebook ads and white hat lead gen. I briefly covered the importance of using a spy tool and I kind of went into ad spy and you can see that video by clicking that I button up there. I just did a brief overview. So I was like, okay, I'll do a more in depth video on how I used ad spy to find uh, fresh creatives and to get ideas for that campaign. But before I get into that, I want to mention that my affiliate marketing with Cody uh, free Facebook group if you guys want to join and um, tell me what you want to see on my youtube channel uh, feel free to click the link in the description and when you request to join you just have to answer three membership questions uh, question three is the most important type the following phrase twice in the box below i will not spam if i do spam i will be called out and removed i have i have everyone write this in twice because uh, the previous group that I had, I just accepted everyone automatically and it literally filled up with so much spam so fast. So if you want to be a part of a no spam Facebook group, um, click the link in the description below. I'd love to have you in the group and then you could tell me what you want to see on this YouTube channel. Um, it's very important that you answer all the questions and agree to group rules because I probably had around 500 people request to join the group but I only accepted about 120 because the majority of people didn't follow the rules and didn't write this twice. So, so I've been denying a lot of people. So just follow the three steps because I don't want this group to turn into a spam zone. So with that being said, I'm going to come into ad spy here. And before I get too deep into the tutorial, I want to mention that it does cost money to use ad spy. There was a free trial at some point. I don't know if they're still doing that, but right now I'm paying $99 a month. It might go up to like 147 a month, but it's totally worth it because you can spy on affiliates that are doing huge numbers, get ideas and start making profitable Facebook ad campaigns. And if you're looking for an alternative, if you think like uh, if a hundred bucks a month is too steep for you, I totally understand. I do have a video on big spy um, Big Spy is a free Facebook ad spy tool and I've used that a lot too. I still use it to this day. So you can check out that video and save some money if you don't want to invest the $100 into ad spy. So that's that and let's get into it. For starters, I'm going to go over all the uh, criteria that you could use to search for ads. Um, we'll start out with ad text. You Let's say we're promoting a ClickBank offer and let's just say it's like Ted's woodworking. You could type in woodworking here, add to filters, and then you could start seeing ads that have woodworking in the ad text. So that's ad text. Uh, comments, I don't really use that. I don't use the advertiser name. Unless I find an advertiser that's doing huge numbers, then I might type in the advertiser name here to see what other ads are running, but I haven't done that too much. Then you can search by URL, landing page URL, or landing page text. And I would have to say that ad text and landing page text are the most common um, things that I search for when I'm using AdSpy. That's right there. That's the most common right there. Um, site type, Facebook or Instagram. If you're just looking to do Instagram ads, you can click that. If you're just looking for Facebook, right there. But I leave it on both. And then you can do gender. You can do age ranges, just drag that along. So I don't use that much, I like to keep it broad, but whatever you wanna do. Daily likes, I don't mess with that. Total likes. So you could use this to uh, filter out the ads that are like brand new. 
So let's say, you know what? I'm just going to type it in. I'm going to type in woodworking. So now right away we get hit with uh, maker's mob. This is clearly a woodworking, um, uh, Ted's woodworking ad right here. And then if you come down here, it's got more than a thousand likes. So that's a great way to filter out ads that aren't really performing well because obviously the more likes and interaction you get on an ad, the better they're probably doing. So that is a great filter to use. And look at these ads. It's just so interesting to see all the different angles for the Ted's Woodworking offer. So I'm going to take that off. That's, a, that's good. Um, media type. You could, if you're just looking to spy on people promoting Ted's Woodworking using video, click video, just photo, click photo. I like to leave it on video and photo. And then you can enter in creative between or even scene between. And then labels, this is um, once you like start spying and saving ads, um, you can label them and then you can just uh, search, search by labels. Uh, right here networks this is a really cool it's got a whole bunch of uh, affiliate networks that you can choose from and I'm going to come and click uh, Clickbank because that's the Ted's woodworking offer right here so we got woodworking and then Clickbank and then we can see all these different types of ads and then start getting ideas and so that's the networks button um, affiliate you can enter in affiliate ID or offer ID I've tried to mess around with this but I really haven't had any success with this uh, filter working uh, maybe you will but I just haven't and I stopped messing around with that advertiser user ID or advertiser username technologies um, so you can just come down here and only see ads that are using a certain type of software. Oh, so for example, if we wanna see ClickBank affiliates that have woodworking in their ad and are using ClickFunnels as their landing page, just do that and then you can come down here and I'm gonna open this to see if it, uh, oh crap, I'm gonna go like this and then now I'm in the ad and I can see the landing page so I'm going to click and then this does look like a click bank I mean a click funnels landing page um, just so you can know for sure you can view page source and then once that happens um, the original favicon for the click funnels uh, page turns into the click funnels logo if they use click funnels so as you can see right there so that's uh, working pretty awesome stuff you can get so detailed and all this stuff and sorry if that was your landing page <laughs> I'm not trying to expose you so that's a really good drop down right there it's technologies and then your country's language and then your buttons so you can target people that are doing woodworking and then have learn more as their call to action button and then it'll have all the learn mores so that is how simple it is to go through ad spy and then start spying on affiliates who are doing numbers um, that have a bunch of likes on their ads um, that have been running for a while then you can see what's working get ideas get inspired and another thing that i like to do is just open up a blank word pad and then just you know label it spying and for this example we did ted's woodworking so like if i'm coming down here i'm gonna search from likes again so i'm gonna bring this to a thousand and then i don't need that date reason on top okay so this one is active still today woodworking projects um this guy's doing some numbers then you could just come over here and then i would if i was running this i would make sure to make a note of the URL of the ad spy and then you can come over here and see their landing page that they're using come back over here and then label it lander you know and then you could even download the video if you wanted to use that video 
or you could just look for other videos that are like this um, this video I've actually tested out this exact video before for this offer and it works good because that's such a unique little chair bench thing right there um, so that's good so that's what I would do I would just spend a lot of time spying finding different advertisers promoting the offer in different ways get inspired make my own landing page similar to theirs remember don't copy the whole thing exactly basically being successful with affiliate marketing comes down to actually putting in the work and putting in the man hours um, making money online everyone tries to say that it's super easy but you do have to do your research and really grind out on some campaigns so another thing that I like to do when I am thinking about creating a couple campaigns for Facebook I come down here and I clear all the filters and then I'll just choose a network and I'll stick with Clickbank because I feel like Clickbank's the easiest for everyone to get into so I'll use that for this example I'll just choose Clickbank and then I won't do date recent on top because even though that's an interesting ad right there um, I will come over here and just go by likes so let's see who has the most likes on a Clickbank affiliate marketing campaign so three popular ab exercises that do more harm than good um, so we can come over here and see where this goes to so this goes to flat belly fast and then it is a Clickbank product I just don't see the Clickbank badge oh here it is so that goes directly to the offer page Ooh, that's risky I would add my own lander in maybe swipe this background um, do a title that's like this I wouldn't use the words flat belly fast because you don't want to make any claims because that's just asking to get your ad account shut down but that's crazy look at this 436,000 likes on this ad 124,000 comments and 130,000 shares that is freaking insane unreal okay so next up is the coolest log cabin ever take a peek and peek inside and you can also look at the date so this was created on May 7th 2017 and then it was last seen in 2018 and this one was last seen 2019 so let's try to find one that's still running today okay so I had to scroll a little bit but the lost book of remedies last seen on May 14 2020 it started March 2nd 2020 okay and this this has a hundred and thirty eight thousand likes on it so let's go and check this out Mar March 8th 2020 so it's been running for two months and it has over a hundred and thirty thousand likes that's freaking crazy now let's uh, highlight the URL and go to it goes to a very very long sales page but this is awesome let's see how long the actual ad video is it's about plants find inside it's called woolly lamb bear also known as backyard bandit well they're clearly doing something right this video is really capturing attention getting a lot of likes and comments and look at the shares that's just insane 117,000 shares and you can come check out the demographics so they're targeting probably like 60 percent male 40 percent female um the countries roughly 83 percent um united states and then the age groups i'd have to say the majority is a 40 to 60. what's this oh, 40 to 70. okay and then you can just dive into the technology they're using lead pages um, 
and this is a, obviously a clickbank offer that is how easy it is to spy using ad spy um a good thing to do is just get into the routine of going on ad spy and just checking out ads every morning or this is something that i've been starting to do is just i wake up early then i do like an hour of just looking through ads getting ideas adding to my master list of my spy notes so i have a word doc like this that is just pages and pages long um, just full of ideas and potential campaigns to run with links to their landing pages and the offer So again, if you guys want to join my free Facebook group and tell me what you want to see on my YouTube channel Hit that link in the description Answer all three questions and agree to no spamming and I will accept you and you can let me know what you want to see Drop a comment. Do you have any questions about ad spy or anything? Uh, related to affiliate marketing and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can um, lastly, if you're not subscribed, smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.